there is a muscle in your body that is the most underrated when it turn when it comes to attraction. When it comes to being attractive to women, especially. And that's your tongue. It's your neck. We don't really think about our necks really. You know, we don't think about, oh I should get a bigger neck. I should get a thicker neck. But it makes you way more attractive. And almost no one trains this. At least from my experience, I've seen virtually no one in the gym train this. I've literally seen no one, basically. But it's integral to being a man. Or rather, to being an attractive man. And so before you cringe and click off, or maybe you've already done so, and if so, I can't really do anything about that now. But if you were going to, stay for a little bit more. Listen, having a thicker neck makes you hella more masculine. I mean, I will pop up some images for some comparisons. And like, you can just look. Which one looks more masculine? I mean, like, which person? The one who has a pencil neck or the one who has a much thicker neck? And I'm sure every single one of you would say, the guy who has a pencil neck kind of looks weird now. The guy who has a thicker neck, he looks more mean. He looks more masculine. And maybe you don't know this, but women desire masculine men. Women like masculinity. If they are feminine. And so I was literally reminded of this topic yesterday when I was reading a manga. And there was a character in it who had, who first of all was like massive, but he also had a massive neck. And I mean, the pure essence of that was that he was a masculine man. And if he didn't have that thick ass neck, he wouldn't be nearly as masculine. Instead, it would have been a feminine man, extremely compensating for something. So believe me when I say that your neck is crucial to being more attractive. <clears throat> because it makes you more masculine. And the more masculine you are, the more attractive you will get. And personally, I didn't believe it. Like I didn't believe that, oh, train, training your neck is will get me attractive. Like, no, hell no, bro. Like, that's, there's no way. But it's so true. And any masculine guy has a thick neck. At least on the flip side, when you compare someone who has maybe a normal neck compared to someone who has a thinner neck, the person with a thinner neck will be appear so much weaker, so much less attractive. Because with a pencil neck, you can literally like imagine you can snap their neck so easily and it's it's not masculine at all. It's weakness. It really on first glance it really just shows weakness. So how would you train your neck? Well, there are two main movements that you want to do. You want to do neck curls, which is bringing your head to your abdomen in this way. And you want to do neck extensions, which brings your head towards your spine, like this. There are so many different ways to do exercises and such. You can easily search them up on YouTube or on Google and just find something. But I would say the best one is to lay on a bench. So if you're doing neck curls, you'd be laying on a bench. And then what you want to do is you want to have an external weight placed on your forehead. And then you just want to curl like this. And then it's the reverse. If you are doing extensions, you want to lay on the bench with your chest on the bench, and then you want to do extensions like that. And so this is the easiest and cheapest option. You don't need to buy any external equipment. You just go to a gym, you use a bench, get a weight plate, or you get a dumbbell, and you're good to go. And online there, and online there are many like harnesses that you can buy to like load your neck. But I would say that it's unnecessary because you have everything that you need in the gym and a big part of not doing this is getting past the social factor getting past the pressure that you might feel right like you go to the gym and, and then you're just thinking i'm about to train neck everyone's gonna look at me it's gonna be very embarrassing i, I don't want to do this and personally i thought i had these thoughts as well the first time i trained neck in the gym i was thinking Oh boy, 
What are people going to think about me? I was scared that people would judge me for doing this. But no one gives a shit. No one gives a flying fuck. And everyone says this. Because it's true. Everyone in their mind is thinking about how other people are perceiving them. So when you're busy thinking about how that person was going to look at you, they're thinking about other people in the vicinity, how they're going to think about them. They might even think about how you are judging them. But in reality, you are worried about everyone judging you. And that's what everyone is thinking. So really, in reality, no one is thinking about you. And you might say, but everyone looks at me. Well, yeah. Because what happens when someone enters a room? Almost everyone turns their head and sees, oh, that's someone new that wasn't here before. That's some level of novelty. And if you do, and if you train neck in a place that literally you see no one train neck, it's novelty. There have been times when I did hip thrusts in a gym where I virtually saw no guys doing hip thrusts. And I mean, people looked because it was novel. Like It was rare to see a guy doing hip thrusts there. And so what's going to happen is people are going to look. They are going to look and you can't avoid that. But then after they look for a couple seconds, they'll go back to what they're doing. They'll see, oh, that's new. And they'll think about, oh, is that person over there judging me for doing this curl wrong? Or they might even think, <clears throat> I would be way too embarrassed to train neck in a public space here. And furthermore, these people aren't your friends. Right? These people don't matter to you. So why do you value their judgment so much? Right? You shouldn't. But what if you have friends that do judge you? Well, first of all, I question if they should be your friends or not. And if your reply is like, well, they're my friends and they're good friends. Like, are they pussies? Are they so afraid to stand out? And if so, should they be your friends? Probably not. Or, but what if they're not pussies and they're friends and they're telling you to not do this? Well, ask them why. You know, maybe it's because they fear that you'll injure yourself. And that's a genuine concern. But you can also explain to them Neck training rarely hurts anyone, unless you go to an extreme and you don't think it through. And personally, I've never found friends to be an issue. Nobody that was a friend of mine has ever told me I shouldn't do neck training. Surely they might reject doing it themselves, like I've told some people to try this and you know, they don't trust it, they don't believe it, that's fine. But no one has told me, oh you shouldn't do it. No one has told me that. And I mean, at some point, you need to think about what you want. Personally, I train my neck to become more masculine, to become more attractive to women. I do that. And I'm sure you want to be more attractive to women. That's why you clicked on this video. So train your neck. And become more masculine. 